Hey beautiful people, I hope you are keeping safe and well. Welcome to my YouTube channel. For those who I haven't met before, I'm Emma Ryder, Psychic Medium and Divine Channeler and this is the Daily Twin Flame Read. Just a little bit of admin before I begin. I tend to read where the Divine Masculine is and the messages coming through from the Divine Masculine. I understand I have a lot of Divine Masculines watching me. Please do switch DM for DF if that resonates with your journey. Each journey is different and you can switch DM for DF. Go with what your heart is telling you. Okay, and I really want to just go straight into the animal cards, which I feel have been a little bit redundant lately, but that has just been how things have been rolling and I always go with how I'm drawn, but I feel really drawn to pick up whatever message is coming through in these cards today. So let's have a look and see. Do, do, do. Okay, so I feel um, I feel like that warm feeling within your heart when you're like really thinking about somebody that just makes you glow from within. Um, and that is coming from your divine masculine. And then we have the dragonfly card. Today's all about transformation, lovelies. This is going to be interesting. Okay, so we have the hyena card, which is following the which the dragonfly card, which is like I want to say polar opposites. But this transformation feels to be very much like we are leaving the darkness of this karmic energy behind. Karmic energy could be a karmic person or a karmic situation. Um, which has been holding your divine masculine back, okay? And this, it feels like a, a situation which has zapped the energy from your divine masculine, an energy of... It's almost like this transformational relief when this stops draining your divine masculine. It feels very much like... <sighs> Thank God for that. But it feels very much like they have had this inner sort of tug of war with themselves as they have tried to move forwards from this karmic energy. And so it's the the relief of the end of the tug of war situation within themselves and also the relief of not having to deal with this energy anymore and it pulling them down okay because you don't have to be physically with somebody for the karmic energy still to be affecting them that is what i want to say to you it doesn't mean they're with somebody it could just be that they haven't dealt with the situation yet within themselves okay and then we're transforming into this very strong energy very attuned energy very i want to say awakened because it feels very much like we've gone from a dark closed off energy where the energy has been squishing has been suppressing um down and to this we're moving forwards i'm very Graceful, slowly and strongly moving forwards and walking forwards, okay? Um, it is that element of slow but sure. Slow but sure. There's no rush, I want to say to you, okay? And then we have the rabbit card and the tarantula card. Okay, and the rabbit card is that fear, okay? And this is not fear of the past re like re-emerging. It's almost this fear of the hurt happening again from the past because it feels very much like the past has been so hard that although they're free from it, they've now got to deal with the fear of it reappearing, of it 
coming to the surface again. Almost, it's just like, oh, it's scary to go into that unknown happier place. That's what I would say. The unknown happier place of how things are going to be with you. So it's not really the fear of being with you. It's the fear of the it being so different than what they've known in the past. Okay. And then we've got the Cosmic Egg card and the Phoenix is rising. Okay. The Cosmic Egg is that miracle thing where I know Divine Feminine, a lot of you this week are thinking, oh, I should just give up. But you know what? Things can change really quickly. Just at the drop of a pin, things can change and miracles can happen. So don't give up, okay? There is this element of things happening very quickly. Miracles happen each and every day. And the energy, we're rising out of the ashes. We're rising out of the heat of the hardness of the situation and the past. And you're rising up together to meet each other. It's definitely very much a forward movement in the um, energy between you, okay? You're rising to meet. It feels like rising to meet. Isn't it a good job you can see my hands? And then the next card out is the crow and the lion, okay? So the energy is rose. You're, you're in line with each other. You're in alignment with each other. And this is when the communication starts. And I want to say it's going to be open and honest communication from your Divine Masculine because you've got the strength of the lion behind this energy. And I want to say it's quite significant for anybody dealing with a Leo. It's not necessarily, it doesn't have to be a Leo. But I want to say it really does feel very Leo energy behind these cards. Okay. But there's definitely that communication you've been waiting for as they've been gathering their strength, overcoming the fear. The fear, not of you, but of the past happening again, okay? So it's trying to differentiate that energy. So you're not taking it personally. Don't take that fear personally. It's not directed at you they're scared of the past and it being in their present again okay but get ready for that communication the call of the crow is coming out okay let's have a look at the notes from the universe cards Doo -doo -doo. Love is never in vain. When you finally see what this whole time space thing is all about, you're going to laugh, you're going to cry, and you're going to be so, so happy you loved as much as you did. None of this journey has been in vain. None of your love has been in vain. It is going to reap the rewards. You are going to get the love that you have been waiting for. None of it has been in vain. Everyone is doing their best. Your Divine Masculine is doing their best and coming as quickly as they can. There are really only two types of people. Those you now love and those you will love. Until there's only one type of person, and then we'll probably hit replay, the game of life. And you are loving that one type of person, the ultimate twin flame. Know that they are doing their best and they are on their way. Thank you so very much for joining me, beautiful people. I hope you have a fabulous day. Please do like and comment on the video if you feel drawn. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. I'm truly appreciative of each and every single person that supports the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please do take care, stay safe, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Namaste. Bye.